Hey, it's Claude Johnson here from GuitarControl.com. Hope you're doing great. And uh, today we're going to look at another acoustic song, Van Morrison, uh, Moon Dance. So this is a great song to get you going on bar chords. So you got your A minor bar chord, sliding up to your B minor bar chord. going back and forth, okay? So again, if you're not familiar with how to do a, a minor bar chord, I'll just show you real quickly. I'm fretting or barring across all the strings with my index finger, and then I've got my, that's on the fifth fret, and then I got my uh, ring finger on the seventh fret of the A string, pinky on the seventh fret of the D string, okay? So it should sound like this. So then you're going to go up to, you're going to slide the whole thing up two frets. So now you're barring the seventh fret and your other fingers are on the ninth fret. Okay, now in this song, yeah, it's played on the piano, but uh, it's kind of like a one thing. Like. So if you're playing along uh, with the recording, you'd sound pretty much perfectly. Um, in time with it, just doing those one strums. Or if you were playing with a band, that's probably how you'd want to play it. Now, if you're playing just you solo on the acoustic, you might want to spice it up a little bit with a couple accents like this. So, it's a very important point. Some songs are going to change, like the arrangement of, is going to change depending on whether you're playing by yourself or with other musicians. So as you uh, grow in your musicianship, you, you'll start to get a sense of that, like, you know, because it's easy to um, kind of overplay with your, when you're with other musicians and it sounds, you know, better to just lay back and You got the bass going on, you got the drums going on, so sometimes that sounds better. But again, when you're with, with yourself, sometimes you need to spice it up with some rhythmic accents. So I'll just play this slow for you and so you can get the, the feel of it. I'm not going to count it out today. Let me slow it down. So that's the basic riff. Uh, the second part of the song is going to go a D minor seven to A minor seven, and then it'll finally turn around with a D minor E seven. Okay, and then there's there's another part too, but don't want to overload you with too much. So just try focusing on that. And then when you start adding the lyrics, it all comes together. I go over another uh, Van Morrison song in my Ultimate Beginner Guitar course, and that course has all the parts of all the songs. Um, you got chord charts, tabs, videos, instructions, very detailed, and it's designed to really, to really help you master a repertoire of a lot of songs fast. So check that out. Uh, even if you're not a beginner, check it out at guitarcontrol.com slash beginner. And uh, that's all for now. I'll catch you next time. Take care.